Today I'm going to be taking a look at the famous Gibson versus Dean lawsuit and what does it really mean. When I got the news about Gibson actually suing Dean because of copyright infringement based on guitar designs, at first I was kind of like, yeah, I mean, the Flying V by Gibson and the Flying V by Dean Guitars, they're almost exactly the same guitar, except the Dean Guitar comes with, in my opinion, a much better upgraded guitar pickup. So, along with saying that, there's also other guitar manufacturers that I like, but I'm actually a big fan of Gibson Les Pauls. However, if I were to buy a Gibson Les Paul again today, I would want to swap out the pickups for something that a guitar that costs probably a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars less would have, plus it would have a beautiful flame maple top. There is actually an LTD EC1000 right now that comes with Seymour Duncan JB and then I think it's called an SH2 Jazz pickup in the neck position and it has a beautiful amber colored flame maple top on it. Right now it's August 2022 and this guitar costs about $1,100 versus buying a Gibson Les Paul standard that has a little bit of flame on it in comparison for nearly $2,700 American. So really, does Gibson actually have a valid reason for suing Armadillo Guitars, who is the manufacturer of Dean Guitars? Dean Guitars, who do you think of when you first imagine Dean Guitars? Is it Don Bag Darrell, the, the human shred master from Pantera? Or do you think of Sammy Hagar, who apparently can't drive 55? DigitalMusicNews.com, that is the source for the information I got regarding the Gibson versus Dean lawsuit. And this is what I got from it. May 27th, 2022, Texas federal court found Armadillo, Dean Guitars, infringed on seven trademarks owned by Gibson. They are number one, the, the Gibson Flying V, number two, the Gibson Explorer, three, Gibson ES, four, the Gibson SG, five, the Dove Wing headstock, the shape of it basically. Number six, the Hummingbird Wordmark. Hummingbird Wood... Hummingbird Wordmark. As much as I love Gibson, I have never heard this, so I'm assuming this must be some kind of a... a like, something like a acoustic guitar or a hollow body guitar. Hollow body electric guitar. Um, hummingbird Wordmark. If you know what it is, can you let me know in the comment section down below? Last but not least, number seven is the modern name. In this lawsuit, Dean had stated that they had been making the Dean Z and the Dean V since 1976. In my opinion, I'm thinking, why is it roughly 50 years later, suddenly Gibson has a problem with it? Is it because Gibson's company has gone downhill? It's not just, in my opinion, I don't think it's quality control issues. I think the fact is, if we look at Fender, all right, they have been innovated. They also own Jackson guitars, where Jackson's, if you, you can buy a Jackson coming in with stock pickups by the Jackson company, or you can spend roughly $1,000. You can get a Jackson Super Strat, that comes with Seymour Duncan pickups, whether it be the JBSH2, which I love that combination, by the way. You can get a Charvel DK24 also. Charvel is also owned by Fender. There's just so many options and things that Fender has done within their brand to keep you wanting to buy Fender guitars, whether it be Fender, Jackson, Charvel, etc. Gibson, it's just Gibson, and in my opinion, I feel like the Gibson Les Paul Studio, as being inexpensive as it is, it's $1,700 for, for your 
bare bones electric guitar Les Paul. And for $1,700, you can get from another company a really nice Les Paul that is designed for whatever music you're into. I mean, look at LTD or ESP with their line of eclipses. These guitars kick butt and they can come from the factory with whatever kind of pickups you want. They have the Nazgul sentiment pickup combination. They have the Seymour Duncan JB SH2. They also have some PAF replica pickups in them. And the list goes on. And these are $1,100 guitars. So why is Gibson going after Armadillo? Is it because it's Big Fish Swallows Little Fish? Not quite. Dean Guitars or Armadillo is actually a pretty big company. I don't know their net worth, so if you know what their net worth is, you can also let me know down in the comment section down below. So July 28th, an injunction permanently prevents Dean from making, advertising, or selling the guitars that infringe on Gibson's trademarks. But don't sweat it, Dean still makes plenty of really sick guitars that they can continue to make even after this lawsuit has gone through. I mean, they look really sharp. I personally, I also like pointy guitars. Even, I like to play heavy metal, I also like to play rock. But there's just something about when you're playing a point, pointed shaped guitar, it's almost as if it possesses you like a demon, takes over your whole body and gets you to be where you can play some really good metal music. My opinion only. But I also like classic guitars like the Gibson Les Paul, Gibson SG, and I also like the Dean ML, which is a combination of the Destroyer and the King V. So I also love playing that, and I think it's really sad if Dean is no longer allowed to make the Dean ML, because I've always wanted to get the, the combination that it comes with that has Dimebag Barrel on the back of the headstock. Which, due to another lawsuit, they, I guess, cannot do that even. So, really. They also say that Dean is not allowed to make the Dean ML because it is trademarked to Dimebag Daryl. Which, if you watch the video for I Can't Drive 55, Sammy Hagar was playing a Dean ML in that video. So, what's up? So, I wanted to thank you guys all for watching my video. If you enjoyed what you watched, I want you to click on the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave your comment down below what you liked or what you disliked about the video. Thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to check out my video. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And if it's as hot where you are as it is here, stay cool, drink plenty of water. Take care, you guys.